Hi all, welcome to my video. Today in this video, we will be working with this model. You see this part a lot in the molds, and it's a spring, but with a different profile. Profile here is rectangular. Let's start step by step build it. We open a new part. In the top plane, we create a sketch. And here I have a circle, which has a diameter of 40. So, we close this, and then we go to Helix and Spro. We can look from this perspective, Pitch and Revolution will be active. So, we start to give our values. 3.5, Pitch, 3.5, Pitch again, and this will be to 1. Now, 6 to 2, and then 6 to 8. So, we, we are going to copy same idea here. 3.5 to 9, 3.5 to 10. This looks good. As you know, real spring starting with a low uh, pitch here, and then as it grows, this section has the normal pitch. This is important. Now we can go ahead in the front plane. We create a sketch, and then somewhere here, randomly, we drop a rectangle. So I select my point, I select my sprawl, and then I have I press my control and I say pierce. So that point exactly touching to our sprawl. That's the idea. Alex, sorry, not sprawl. Height is 299. Because the, the pitch is 6. A minimum you can make it three, but when you make it three, sometimes SolidWorks gives an error, and that I want to overcome that here. But cheating program a bit, you know, when I put so much digit, in reality it will not be three, but I will show it as a, I will have it as a three. You can use this trick a lot. This is done, and now we add also some radius at the corner. We can go set post base, sketch profile and we will select this item. So it's starting from a different point, but we can make it bi-directional and then you will have this nice uh, full spring. And now what is missing? We miss some trims. I'm going to select top plane, surfaces, cut with surface, trims this direction. So another direction will be this upper region, so I will select top, I will select a plane, and now I will assign that plane to this point by selecting that point while control is pressed. Now I can also trim this side. If you don't want to have this complicatedness, you can just create also in right or front plane. I think front plane is proper here to rectangle and cut your spring. That's also a possibility. It is just a choice you can always have. So, this was it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the like button and make comment. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.